Okay, so we've got our dial gauge up here to check the inlet valve lift. We only do inlet valve lift on these um, single camshaft. There's no reason to check the exhaust unless you really want to see what it is. Uh, we'll just do top dead centre setting. Um, again, like we did on other engines, um, because of the inclined valves on these, you really only want to check your top dead centre with a top dead centre stop between firing and TDC top dead centre. If you check it between overlap top dead centre and firing top dead centre, when the inlet valve opens, the inlet valve, which on this engine is 44 mil, so it's bigger than a 900 valve, will open into the stop and you might bend your valve. So just make sure you're at top dead centre firing. Just go past top dead centre firing. Just about there. We'll put our piston stop in. Gently wind it back until it stops. It's way too early. Starter mode is quite hard to push against on these, but we can't too far. Generally somewhere around 10 degrees is, is nice. I'm assuming the degree wheel is somewhat accurate. We might find out it's not in a minute. It's possibly not. Okay, so that's 11. Spin it around. You can see the exhaust valve opening. And it will stop again. There, about 1. So that's 12, so our degree wheel is off. A few degrees. Let's nip the flow, the degree wheel up a little bit. See where we stop now. Stops at twelve. This one stopping about 15 so let's move our pointer across to about 13 and a half also again a trusty piece of coat hanger wire it's about 12 and a half And that's 12 and a half foot um, we call that fine. It's actually quite firm to rotate backwards this engine because of the starter motor drive. Yep, so we'll call them both 13. So that is top dead centre set. That out, now we can turn the engine over. And we're going to check the inlet timing. So we I turn the engine over until we get one millimetre lift on the inlet valve. And that is 15 degrees. On this engine, the spec is 18 degrees opening before top dead centre and closing 60 degrees after top dead centre, sorry, after bottom dead centre which gives us a 111 degree inlet centre line. Um, I check a few 659, 696s, six, nine and I normally set them particularly on a 659, which is this engine in the bike only has about half throttle opening because of the, the restriction, and they're not going to make any top end power, so you might as well advance the cams. I usually use 108, um, but we'll see what this one is. So it's 15. And up here we're on about 16 and a half. So we go around. And we're coming around to top dead centre at one millimetre lift. So it was 15. There is 57. So 1557, I think, will be. Pretty much 
right on spec. Exactly, 111 degree centre line. The way you calculate a centre line is 15 plus 57 is 72, plus 180 is 252, divide by 2 is 126, minus the 15 is 111. And that's because basically you've got 15 plus 180 plus 57. And the centre line is realistically exactly the centre point between those two. And it's there somewhere. So that's what we, use, what we say when we mean centre line. It's just a mathematically generated number to give us a representation of where the camshaft is based on the opening and closing numbers. That's all it is. The actual maximum lift, we can check the maximum lift point. It may be somewhere around 111, or it might not. So we'll find maximum lift. Hit 111 yet, it's getting close. At some point, it'll stop, and we'll try and go either side. So, if that's on 90, it's 108. Stopped about 111, and we come back till it goes just on the 90 here. 108 and 118 which is 113 it would be the actual center line although if you might find you know if you have a smaller lift measure increment that you measure it you might get a bit more accurate but it's in that realm so it's pretty much it would appear to be a symmetrical camshaft pretty much so that's on spec 111 degree center line what I'll do now is is I'll put the locking tools in, we'll lock the engine up. I'll talk about belt tension setting and why I don't do it the factory method. And then we'll check the cam timing again. Once you've done the cam timing on these engines and you're happy with it, you torque these screws back up to 10 Newton meters. And that locks the cam pulley halves together and that way it won't go anywhere in the future.